All right, this video is a little different. I wanted to talk about stamina when soloing. Uh, not necessarily vocabulary, but it helps to have more vocabulary available to you. But really about what it takes to solo all night long and just kind of not be meandering, not be playing, you know, pardon my French, a bunch of bullshit. To be saying something at all times, all night long, and to have the stamina to do it. Um, I've actually been asked this a lot by younger guitar players. Man, we came to your gig and, you know, you're soloing for hours and you don't repeat yourself. You always seem to have something to say, even though really in terms of vocabulary, I have much less than, you know, John Schofield or, you know, true jazz, you know, George Benson, Bruce Foreman, you know, my favorite guitar players. Um, but I'm, I have a, <laughs> at least some inner confidence that no matter how many times I have to solo all night, no matter where you drop me in what situation, I can say something that means something, even if it's short, if it's long, whatever. And that comes obviously from repetition, from practice, and from mostly experience. Now, I was really fortunate to get dropped into the fire as a kid and be the primary soloist in a band of adults, you know, when I was 13 years old. And that enabled me to spend just hours every night playing solos and learning what works, learning how to pace myself. I know that sounds silly, but it helped. Learning how to breathe, uh, take breaths and pauses in my playing, and to really start to build stories and tell things. Now, the phrasing side of it is a little bit different from the stamina side, which is what we're talking about now. So I just wanna do an exercise here. I'm gonna play a shuffle unaccompanied for as long as I can. I'm just going to blow my brains out um, until it gets uninteresting to me. And it's a case study. So we're going to go in B flat, and I'm just going to try to keep it going in a way that is interesting to me and see when I check out, if that makes sense. <laughs>
Yeah. So I don't know if I actually felt like I was starting to run out of steam. I kind of was still hearing other places to go and things to do, ways to rhythmically chop things up. So let's kind of examine what was going on through all that and, and how I was thinking as it was going along. So the first chorus may happen something simply. I'm going to start a phrase, right? So automatically that informs kind of the entirety of the rest of the solo. Um, and as I'm moving along, I'm making choices reacting to what I played previous. So when I play... The next thing I might play... Right? Or if I, if I play... The next lick might be to answer it back. Some sort of counter movement with the same kind of rhythmic phrasing. Um, and man, these new things just keep coming. It, it may be a, a rhythmic time. Instead of playing, it may be uh, like something against. You know, and, and man, they, it, yeah, they do just keep coming. And that's because of kind of the work and on-the-job experience. It's a hard thing to explain. It's something that just has to be done. You kind of just have to get out there on stage and you just have to blow your brains out over and over and over again. You know, even if I was forced to take the entire solo right here and play nothing. Still make it interesting. Right? I'm going to make a story happen and then I'll change up the rhythm. come from like a little walk there to the four where I change the timing up it just kind of is a, a natural reaction to what's going on what's being played and answering myself back I don't know if this helps anybody but it helps me to kind of verbalize and think about what am I really thinking as things are going along and how did I arrive there um, and that'll get more into phrasing, and we'll certainly do that in other videos, and I've done that in my, my True Fire videos. If you really want to pick up a good one on phrasing, pick up my uh, Blue Highways improv roadmaps. But, man, I just wanted to talk about, like, building stamina. So do something like that exercise I just did. Take a groove that you, you are super comfortable on. You know, maybe take a... Right? And just go ad nauseum. and just keep it going until you run out of steam and you'll find your limits and then you'll break through them. It doesn't have to be constant eighth notes like that. Again, like we were doing in the BB King exercise. Take that same groove and play it more simple. Thank you. 
keep it going, man. Uh, I just wanted to do that kind of off-the-cuff video about stamina, and I hope that helps. And uh, members, I'll do a little addendum to this for you. And if you're not a member yet, a ruler, bam, smash that join button. At least subscribe, hit the bell so you get notifications. I greatly appreciate the support. Ruling. <laughs>